Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies, this is Srinivas. In this session we are going to discuss about uh, default arguments function in Python programming. Here it is, default arguments function. See first of all, what is a default arguments function and what is a default argument? Generally, whenever we are defining a function depends on the requirement is we will pass the input to the function. The input to function is nothing but arguments, whatever the data we are passing as an input to function, we just collect into a set of variables called arguments. So, here what are a default arguments means at the time of declaration of an argument, by that time only we are assigning a value is called a default argument here, here default argument means while defining, while defining a function, while defining a function, we can initialize, initializing means what? At the time of declaration only we are assigning the values. We can initialize some of the arguments some of the arguments using default values, using default values called default arguments function. So, here first I will define one function, so then you will understand more clearly. So, here we are defining one function, just define what is the function name, just I am giving the concept name like a default args, default arguments. And here it is a number of arguments we are taking, for example, a just variables b and c. These are and inside we can display the elements simply. So, I am displaying the elements of a comma b and c, a simple code I have written, simple code I have written. So, actually these are called arguments, these are called arguments. Now, default argument means what? We are assigning values to these arguments called default arguments, called default arguments. So, here, here it is suppose to see we are passing one value is like a 20, 20. So, here this is a default argument, this is a default argument and next this is non default argument, this is non default argument that is the difference. One is a default argument, second one is a non default argument. So, default argument means what? We assigned a value that is all. Now, how to access? By just defining the function of course, the function will not execute automatically, we need to call manually we need to call. So, here here we are calling default arguments, we are passing the values. For the argument c already value is there, so no need to pass, if you do not pass the value we can say parameter value, if you do not pass the value while calling the function it will consider the default value. So, suppose I am passing 10 comma 20. 10 comma 20 to avoid the confusion, suppose here it is a c value 30 I am taking. So, here whenever we are calling then automatically the 10 will go on store into a, 20 will go on store into b and for c no need to pass the value, so, because already default value is there. So, whenever we are displaying the values a, b, c from the function then it will display those values. So, here whenever we are executing all the three values it is printing 10, 20, 30. Sir, suppose if I am passing one value, suppose I am passing the values like a 50, 100 and 150. So, then what will happen? So, then nothing, 
whatever the value which is already present a default value that will be replaced with the new value. So, 30 is replaced with a 150. So, whenever we are executing this 50, 100, 150 that much and here sir do we need to pass integers only? So, means what can't we override the value default argument value with a any other type means what that is completely your wish. Suppose 50 is an integer and next one b value suppose I am passing 3, 4.56 and c value a string I am passing like a python, python and now whenever we are executing this see here it is a 50, 3, 4.56 and a python. So, here, here it is passing parameter value, passing parameter value to default argument is optional, default argument is optional, it is not mandatory. If you do not pass, then a default argument value will take. And next one, if we pass if we pass parameter to default argument, default argument, so then what will happen? We have seen existing value will be replaced, existing value will be replaced. So, these are the few points, so we can understand about a default arguments function. Here it is a one question, one question, sir, here can we define a function with a complete default arguments? like a value 10 and here it is a b value 20 and c value 30. So, then here it is I am not passing any input directly I am calling whenever we are executing see look at this. Not only a single argument all the arguments of a function which just make it a default arguments. So, that is allowed and one important question, one important question here it is, here it is a non default argument, a non default argument cannot be followed, cannot be followed by a default argument, a very very important one. A non default argument cannot be followed by a default argument. So, what is that? Here it is in this program, in this program suppose here it is a B and C we are writing like this and we are passing the values like 10 comma 20. So, this is what we discussed is a non default argument and this is a default argument, non default, non default and this is a default. And here a default argument is followed by non default argument, it is allowed. So, whenever we are executing, so no error here. But a default argument cannot be preceded by non default argument. See, b equals to 20 and c. We are writing like this, like a equals to 30. We are writing like this. So, then what will happen? See, here whenever we are executing this error, clearly it is showing that error non default argument, a non default argument follows default argument it is impossible case. Sir, why? Very simple. Just suppose if it is allowed consider what will happen. Whenever we are passing the values, it will start storing the information from the left side. 10 will go and store into A, 30 is replace the value 20 and then who will pass the value to C? Problem. While calling, it will get confused. The values belongs to what type of variables and all. That is why not at the time of calling, at the time of definition of function only it will give error message. A non default argument, this is C is a non default argument cannot be followed by a default argument that is. Okay. So, these are the few points about, uh, about uh, default arguments and uh, non default arguments. Whenever we are defining a function, if you want to pass input to the function, arguments are required. Arguments nothing but input. 
but at the time of passing arguments if you want to assign some values to arguments comes under default arguments while calling the function so do we need to pass values to default arguments means what it's completely optional if you are not passing it will take the default value if you pass it will replace the original value nothing but replace the default value so that is completely optional but here it is a one important note because it will raise an error a non default argument cannot be followed by a default argument why what is the reason means whenever we are calling so there will be a chance of getting confusion that's the reason okay it's all about a default arguments function in python hope you understood for more videos please subscribe to narayshati channel thank you